How's it going, people? Well, I believe we're up to section 27 of the DNC. And there's a long ass masthead, so better wet my whistle. Uh, all right. Let's do it. Revelation given to Joseph Smith, the prophet, at Harmony, Pennsylvania, August 1830, in preparation for a religious service at which the sacrament of bread and wine was to be administered, Joseph set out to procure wine for the occasion. He was met by a heavenly messenger. and receive this revelation. The first four paragraphs of which were written at the time and the remainder in the September following. But this is August 1830 up here. All right, so they added on to this August section in the following month. Thank you for telling us. <laughs> Gotta keep these boys honest. Alright. Water is commonly used instead of wine in the sacramental, sacramental services of the church. Warning against the use of wine of unassured purity in the sacrament. Wouldn't it be purified with all that hoodoo magic and shit, you know? I mean, it's got to be pure already. I never got that. <sighs> Nothing but the best for the big G. <laughs> He's like a giant Ted Bundy in the sky, you know? <laughs> all right, I think I went too far there. But anyway, because Ted Bundy didn't kill nearly as many people. <sighs> the purity of the sacrament many ancient prophets named with whom as with the latter day prophets the Lord promises to partake at a time yet to come the prior ordination of Joseph Smith Jr. and Oliver Cowdery to the apostleship avowed Encouraging admonition given. Okay. One. But first. Listen to the voice of Jesus Christ. Your Lord, your God, and your Redeemer whose word is quick and powerful. Two, for behold, I say unto you, that it mattereth not what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink when ye partake of the sacrament, if it, be, if it so be that ye do it with an eye single to my glory. Good to know. Remembering unto the Father my body, which was laid down for you. He did it for you. He dedicated that one for you. He died temporarily for you. Man, I feel so guilty. Actually, if you do a check with me, I'd have passed. I said, you know what? Uh uh, not necessary. Just tell the old man to clean the slate. I mean, if he loves us, then he's then it's got to be unconditional. Otherwise, that's the way I would treat anyone that treated me like shit. I don't take it <laughs> from anybody, even imaginary friends. All right. Totally lost my place. It's, didn't get far, I know. Uh, oh, yeah, a, an eye single to my glory, remembering unto the Father 
my body, which was laid down for you, and my blood, which was shed for the remission of your sins. Because you're so rotten and sinful, that was fucking necessary. Damn. Three. Wherefore, a commandment I give unto you, this is Jesus talking, that you shall not purchase wine, neither strong drink of your enemies. So far, I don't have any enemies, so I guess I, I'm fine. I don't think I do. If I do, I don't care. I hadn't noticed. Four. Wherefore, you shall partake of none, except it is made new among you. Yea, in this my Father's kingdom, which shall be built up on the earth. Right here, on, the, on terra firma. And is this wine grape juice? It says new, but then it says new among you. I mean... I'm sure they could get some yeast cultures and uh, some barrels and uh... <sighs> sounds fun. Five. Behold, this is wisdom in me. Wherefore, marvel not, for the hour cometh that I will drink of the fruit of the vine with you on the earth. This is Jesus talking. Sounds cool. And with Moroni, eh, not as cool, uh, whom I have sent unto you to reveal the Book of Mormon. Oh, damn, he was just talking to Joseph Smith Jr. And with Moroni, whom I have sent unto you to reveal the Book of Mormon, containing the fullness of my everlasting gospel. And yet they needed this. As a matter of fact, this is what they pretty much quote from <laughs> in church. To whom I have committed the keys of the record of the stick of Ephraim. Six, and also with Elias, to whom I have committed the keys of bringing to pass, drink to that, uh, Elias, uh, footnote, yep, New Testament, that's just Elijah. In the New Testament. Elias. Okay. I bring it to pass. The restoration of all things. Spoken by the mouth of all the holy prophets. Since the world began. Yeah, because the world couldn't be around without people. That just doesn't make sense. Somehow. That just can't be true. No, we prefer, like, Dungeons and Dragons and Middle Earth and all that shit. <laughs> I mean this. Sorry. Get it all mixed up. Elias. Uh, the restoration of all things spoken by the mouth of all the holy prophets since the world began concerning the last... Which it's all about, you know, let's get this shit over with. <clears throat> Seven. And also John, the son of Zacharias. Which Zacharias, he, parenthesis, Elias, in parenthesis, visited and gave promise that he should have a son. And his name should be John. I think that's like the book of Luke. And he should be 
filled with the spirit of Elias. Okay. Eight. Which John I have sent unto you, my servant Joseph Smith, Jr.? And all over Calgary. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to ordain you. Hey, nothing but the best, you know. I mean, John the Baptist ba baptized Jesus and Elias, Elijah, pretty much invented baptism, as far as I can tell. Maybe I'm wrong, but he was big into it. Him and Elisha. All right. Yeah, nothing but the best to baptize these boys. John the Baptist and Elias. Elijah. To ordain you unto the first priesthood, which you have received, that you might be called and ordained even as Aaron. Wow. Nine, and also Elijah. They don't know that Elias is Elijah. Of Elijah. Him and Elias, those two guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a little off right now. <laughs> it's, it, it can't be the book, it must be me. Chime in. It's fine. And also Elijah! along with that Elias guy, unto whom I have committed the keys, the keys of the power of turning the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to the fathers. Uh. That the whole earth may not be smitten with a curse. Damn it. <laughs> Ten. We're going to do this. Ten. And also with Joseph and Jacob and Isaac and Abraham. Can't leave Abe out. Oh, Abe, man. I mean, it started with him. Well, his dad, really, but he did all the heavy lifting. <laughs> all right. Where the fuck am I? Abraham. Your fathers, by whom the promises remain. Eleven. And also with Michael or Adam. So Adam is Michael? As in the Archangel Michael? Adam? Because I thought Jesus was. Oh, wait, that's the J Dubs, excuse me. I'm getting the J Dubs, Miss <laughs> Jehovah Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses. They're fun. Yeah, Jesus is the Archangel Michael, according to the J Dubs. Here, Michael is Adam, according to verse 11 of section 27. That's kind of interesting. Kind of. Michael, or Adam, the father of all. The prince of all, the ancient of days, which is also the name of God. The 
Ancient of Days, but this isn't capitalized, so it's... We'll let that slide. Twelve! And also with Peter and James and John, whom I have sent unto you, by whom I have ordained you and confirmed you to be apostles. And a special witnesses of my name. And bear the keys of your ministry of all the same things which I have revealed unto them. Thirteen. Unto whom I have committed the keys of my kingdom. So now we know who has them. No. Okay. And a day dispensation of the gospel for the last times. They finally got it right. And for the fullness of times in the which I will gather together in one all things, both which are in heaven and which are on earth. So you're going to like what? Like put like Jupiter right here and Saturn and all this shit. I don't think we, everything in the heavens won't fit here. Unless you're like Doctor Who and you can do some fucking interdimensional prestidigitation. Just go with it. It's easier if you don't think about it. All right. <laughs> Fourteen. And also, with all those whom my Father have given me out of the world. Huh? And also, with all those whom my Father hath given me out of the world. Are you talking about angels or, e or ETs? Inquiring minds want to know. Fifteen. Wherefore, lift up your hearts and rejoice, and gird up your loins. Really? Please, pull those pants up. And take upon you my whole armor that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, having done all, that ye may be able to stand. Sometimes it's hard. Sixteen. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's just so twisted. I'm sorry. It's not even funny, I'm sure. <laughs> Stand. Therefore, having your loins girt. <laughs> All right, that is funny. All right, I thought it was me. I needed that. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Turn up your loins. <sighs> oh boy. Oh, that was good. <laughs> uh, your loins about with truth. At least their version of it. 
Tapping on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the... <laughs> oh. The preparation of the gospel of peace. So you need all that armor for peace. That kind of reminds me of a little story, and I'm going long, but fuck it. You want to hear this? I had a roommate, and he was a Jack Mormon. And I, I've i known all kinds of Jack Mormons. They're fun. They don't know how to do it right, though, but they're trying real hard. Uh, <laughs> but uh, his dad was a state cop, and I liked him. I'm not talking smack about him or the family. I liked all of them. I love them. They're wonderful. They were nice to me. And he understood that uh, uh, they didn't even try. <laughs> and yet they invited me over for dinner a lot of times. Well, anyway, he's a state cop. He wore magic underwear and a bulletproof vest. That's all. Makes perfect sense. I, I wasn't talking smack. I, I, I love you. And I'm not going to name you. But you probably know if you're watching. It was intelligent. I mean, faith and reason combined. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this whole video is an abortion. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, the gospel of peace, which I have sent mine angels to commit unto you. Really. I'm waiting for my angelic visit. I mean, I'll totally change. I mean, hey, if Alma Jr. can get... I mean, he's a total enemy! And an angel straightens his ass out and makes him a saint. Here I am. Right. Ain't happening. Seventeen. Taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Eighteen. And take the helmet of salvation. All these... This weaponry, they're like a total armadillo. They got a... A carapace of faith. <laughs> Shields. <laughs> That's my faith. It'll stop a bullet. Or not. Right. Eighteen. And take the helmet of salvation. Yeah, yeah. And the sword of my spirit, which I will pour out upon you. And my word, which I reveal unto you, it be agreed as touching all things whatsoever ye ask me, and be faithful until I come, and ye shall be caught up, that where I am ye shall be also. Amen. I think that might be it. That is it. That's a little section. Hey. This video is over. But I think I'm going to do another one. And you probably don't want to watch it. It's going to be silly. Probably better than this one. But if you don't, and I might not even post them the same day anyway. I don't have internet at home. I just want to say... Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Come on, a little me time's alright. <laughs>